Well, here it is Sunday morning. It's about 6 o'clock a.m. And uh, today we're going to be taking a little field trip, our church. We're going to be going down to a church in Delaware and uh, actually going to get to see Dr. Peter S. Ruckman speaking. So that ought to be a fun time. I'm going to do a little bit of recording when we get there. So that's it for now. That's it. Yep. We're here finally. Baptist Church. All right. Humanists, you know, and philanthropists, you know, and 
Hindus and Buddhists, you know, and Taoists and Confucius, you know, and, but you can't find any sinners. Yeah. If I could just find me a sinner, yeah. I'd still have a good message for you. Yeah. <laughs> you saw Christ died for a sinner. Yeah. Paul says this is a faithful saying worth of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners yeah. of whom I am chief. Mama, come draw you a pretty picture. Come on, draw it like it is. Look at here. Crown of thorns around his head. What for? Spikes. We got that plant down the Swanee River down in Florida. Those spikes when I think about that long. You can't even bend them. It's a stick. Like an ice pick. Put around his head. Crown of thorns. Why why around his head? My thoughts of intellect. My boss up here, holding his hand. What's the for, boys? You picked up stuff you had no business missing. Yeah, that's, right. that's what. That's he right. died for your sin. Yeah, You're a sinner. Yeah. I give a flip who you think you are. If I was for the United Nations, I wouldn't cool anything. They're all just people full of blood. Yeah. And your blood's no good. Yeah. That's why you die, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> the life of the flesh and the blood. That's why they push you to bed with a shovel. But there's a blood's no good. You've got to get the right kind of blood. I remember one time I talked to Camelot. I said, uh, how long have you been a preacher? He said, 22 years. I said, can you tell me how to get saved? He said, sure. I said, right, tell me how to get saved. He said, you got to confess, believe, repent, be baptized. I said, have you repented? He said, yes. I said, you believe? He said, yes. I said, you've been baptized? He said, yes. I said, are you saved? He said, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the that chain when I come down. Because I am. Yeah, right. So when he shows up, he says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the light. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the doorkeeper. I am the door. I am the shepherd. And that part means Jehovah saves. I am a Jehovah witness. <laughs> Something right there. You see about that thought in the Old Testament, Jeconiah. Of course, but I don't want him with that thing on his name. Looking like the devil, just call him Kaniah. Don't put my name on him. That's an abbreviation for Jehovah. You've got the Creator coming down and paying for your sins because He knows where you're going. And you don't know where you're going, but you're going to hell. Amen. And your Creator doesn't want you there, so He came down and fixed it so you don't have to go. Amen. Well, what are you going to do something about it? speak to those who need to be spoken to. And Father, I pray for any young person here, a boy or girl, or elderly person, man or woman, that you'll speak to them right now in their heart about these matters and show them what they have to do. They'd only be right to do And they should enjoy doing it. They should be glad they don't have to go and burn forever for sins. They should be glad you've taken care of it. They should be glad it's going to cost them anything. Let's remain in prayer a little while. I'm going to turn the service over to your pastor. And if you're here this morning and have cannot put your finger on a time, now listen to me, listen to me. You can't put your, the time running out. And boy, you talk about it running out, it's going. Think right now, if you can't put your finger on a time and a place where you came to Jesus Christ as a sinner and accepted his death for your sins, now is the accepted time, now is the day of salvation. Yes, now you've got a perfect chance. You're among friends that love you. I haven't tried to run you to the church through the back door. Nobody's trying to get you baptized. Nobody's trying to get you to change religions. I've given you a free offer that God gives you. And you need to take it. And may God give you the courage this morning to take it. We start the invitation. May God help you to move and buy your group this morning. I'm asking you, now listen to me. I'm not talking about church membership. I'm not talking about religions. I'm talking about you receiving God's Son as your Savior and trusting what He did to save your soul. And if you can react on that, may God help you to react on that, brother, as you have a
prayer requests or anything? Do you have anything that uh, you need people to pray for? I know you're when I see the van pull up here, I'm going to be sitting right inside. All the way back to wherever it is. Yeah, it's just right around the back.